Hello, everybody. It's Cindy Ingram, and we're on day seven of Art Around the World in 30 Days. And today I was looking for an art an artist from, you know, around the world. And I was scrolling through the website artv.com or is it's not a work, it's .com, A-R-T-V-E. -E. It's, a, it's a great site for contemporary art. Um, it has older art too, but the contemporary art selection is really good. And the search feature seems to work pretty well. So I like to use it to find things. But uh, something happened when I was scrolling where it was just like a core memory <laughs> was unlocked in me. And I remembered an artist from my very first museum job in 1999 at uh, the Austin Museum of Art, which doesn't even exist anymore. They merged with another um, I think they merged with another art institution in Austin, so they, they kind of do, but the building that I worked in doesn't exist, and here's Bruno, he wants to join the video, so you haven't met Bruno yet, I don't think, he likes to join me for meetings, um, and the first exhibit that was there when I first moved to Austin for college, August 1999, was an artist named Julie Speed, and I had forgotten, completely forgotten about her, probably since college. Um, I had postcards of her art and in my dorm room and even my first jobs out of college, I um, I uh, had her those postcards up. So they're so like nostalgic for me, but it's so funny that it's just like, she just completely slipped my memory until this morning. And so, we're doing America again, just because I was like, oh, we have to do this. We have to show the work of Julie Speed. And I have to see what she's been making for the last 24 uh, years. So <laughs> since I last saw her art in 1999. So um, I'm going to show you one, like a nostalgic one for me. I had a hard time finding her older stuff. Her uh, Her website has lots of her art on it, all the way back to 2007. Like, tons of her art so I scrolled through like every single section um but the stuff that was in that exhibit the exhibit was called queen of her own world or something I just found it on but I've, I closed the tab uh, 19 her work it was a retrospective retrospective of her work from 1989 to 1999 and she's an Austin based artist so um now she lives in Marfa which is um that cool artsy town in Texas that what that um uh, has all the art installations and, and things there by Donald Judd and others. Okay. Um, yeah, let's show you. So the image quality is not great. And um, Bruno's going to give me a kiss. I don't want to kiss. Uh, so this was one of the ones I had hanging on my wall. There was, I had, I think I had two or three. Um, I couldn't find the one that um, I remember the most. I couldn't find a picture of that, but this one I, I have a very clear memory of too. So you can see it's a, a woman just an extra eye and then she's got this flame lit and then um, you know there's fire on the surface. And I love this artwork because it reminds me of a oh, one when I was looking for an image of this I did a reverse because I found this low quality image. So I tried to um, I tried to do a reverse image search to find a higher like a higher quality image and that only the like low quality image was there. I'm so sorry that it's grainy, but they, this was used on an album cover for Sean Colvin. So um, Sean Colvin fans might recognize it. I don't know. Um, I vaguely have a memory of who Sean Colvin is. I feel like maybe I might know one of the songs. But anyway, I love this because it reminds me in a way of Christina's World by Andrew Wyatt, which at the time of that this um, artwork, the time like that this was in my life, Christina's World was a, a big painting for me. Let me just go ahead and open it. Um, so you, you can see that Bruno's kissing my hands while I um, look it up. Like I had a journal with this. Oh, of course, it's a small. So I've got another small one. Um, stop, Bruno. I should have not picked you up, but you're so cute. Okay, it's okay. We get the we get the idea. Um. This, I had a journal, like the Museum of Modern Art did these sketchbooks. I don't know if they still do, but back then they had these sketchbooks with their the artwork on it. And it was just like uh, blank pages. And I used them as my like diaries, journals. 
and um, this was on the cover. And I always felt really highly resonated with this artwork. And it almost made it into my book. At one point, this was going to be in the book, which was um, sort of about like social anxiety. And I always felt like distant and far away from everything. And I just couldn't like, um, I just, I, you know, I felt so separate. And so this, I always really resonated with this. Um, but then when we look at the Julie Speed, I think like it's such a picture of power. Like what is she burning down? Like, what is she letting go of? Is it like, is it, is, is it a, a bad thing or is she just like torching like something that is not bad, that was bad for her, but now she's letting it go. Um, the third, the, the third eye makes me think of like the third eye, your intuition, which is normally depicted in the center of your head, but it, it reminds me of the concept of the third eye. Um, but I just love this painting and I just wish it was hanging on my wall. Um, so that's this is Julie Speed. I'm going to show you just some of her other work just to see how far she's come and how different it is, but still so similar. Like the faces, you see how like the faces look really similar. Um, but she has tons of um, really highly interesting compositions and paintings. Like you really want to figure out what's going on. They're very narrative. Um, they're very symbolic, I think, too. And there's a lot of art historical connections. There's um, this one, obviously, you can see connection to Japan, but there's some that are very much like a uh, Renaissance painting. And there's some that are, oh, look at this one. Oh, that's amazing. Look at the third eye, too. And it looks like her main, her main um, media is gouache. And she also does collage, too, from what I was looking, looking at. But oh, look at these. They're so good. Um, yeah, some of them you can see are like highly referencing like romanticism, um, just a lot of influence in her art from art history, which is fun for like, you know, someone who really likes art history, uh, a lot of humor, a lot of just really cool, cool stuff. So that's Julie Speed's art. And, um, I'm going to post her website on, um, the internet uh, or on <laughs> sorry the dog was distracting me on the video and um you can see kind of click through the rest of her art it's so neat I mean just look at it I'm obsessed um and I'm so excited to have like had that memory unlocked in me today I just it, it feels really exciting and good oh Bruno's gonna give you one good good goodbye okay um remember you can sign up to get these emails for these videos at artclasscreator.com slash aatw and there's a giveaway on there. And then I'll be back tomorrow with another video, another work of art from around the world. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow.